Good evening guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Tori. If you guys are new here, my husband and I are currently living at and running a resort in small town Idaho. And this week is a huge project week for us here at work and I thought this would be a really good time to kind of bring you guys along for a work week in my life and share a little bit more about what we do for a living and what life on a day-to-day -day basis has been looking like since we started these new jobs. Before we moved here, we spent four years living and traveling in a camper van. Um, so this has definitely been a pretty huge change for us. And as far as work goes, I have a pretty extensive history in customer service based positions. So hospitality is definitely not new for me, but projects like this one where we're gonna get our hands dirty, get out and get some like physical labor in has definitely been a little bit of adjustment for me, but I've been really loving it. Sometimes it's kind of nice to just unplug, step out of the office, and just get lost in a task. I feel like I've shared a lot more of like the operational side of things, the desk work, and some of the art that I've been doing, but this week I thought it would be fun to share some of like the bigger projects that Josh and I have been working on and show you guys the nitty gritty of it. So right here where I've been standing, there used to be a partially completed greenhouse that we have been demoing. Josh worked so hard getting this taken apart and now today you and I are just gonna work on some cleanup, getting some of this moved to a dumpster to get it off the property. But the whole reason we tore down the greenhouse because we'll be building another one in a different spot next year is because we are working on a glamping village and I'm so psyched. So essentially this greenhouse came down. All of this is going to be cleaned up and leveled. This shed over here is actually gonna get moved to the other side of the property, probably somewhere over here where we'll be constructing a new greenhouse, a garden, and hopefully a chicken coop. Sorry if this audio is kind of bad, it's a little bit windy, but we're doing what we can. <laughs> Deck platforms behind me, one has been completed and there's going to be three more, and each will have a glamping tent in its own personal outdoor yard space. And I think it's gonna be such a cool way to give the camping experience to people who maybe aren't so keen on camping. It's very gloomy today, so I'm not crossing my fingers that we don't get rained on. It is mud season now, but we have a lot of work to do, so let's get right into it. working until dark out there it ended up being really therapeutic like I mentioned last week I've been just a little bit stressed lately so just throwing stuff into a dumpster there was even like some glass shattering it just felt really cathartic I did have quite a few trips with the little wagon thing but it feels like I didn't make as much progress as I would have thought but there's just a ton of debris out there so it's gonna be kind of an ongoing project that Josh and I just tackle as best we can, especially since it's just the two of us here right now. We give it our 120%, but things take a little bit of time sometimes. So I've just popped back into the office now that it's getting dark. I'm gonna close up, respond to the last couple emails that came in while I was out working. I try and hit my email box first thing in the morning, like right after our lunch break and right before closing, just to make sure that I don't miss any guest messages or anything that came through like that. And then I'm gonna go about my typical evening routine. Note to future self, maybe don't do a crazy intense leg day before working on a demolition project. It also felt a little bit weird starting a vlog in the afternoon and evening. I like really don't do that. I always start my vlogs with a coffee. In other breaking news, when I walked into work today, I found this on the desk. It's that thrift store that I go to all the time with you guys that I was talking about last week. They are not closing for the season. They are closing permanently and it is an utter tragedy. I just came into work this afternoon and it was just sitting on the desk. So I like ran into the bedroom to ask Josh if he had put it there because he knows that's my favorite thrift store, but he hadn't even taken a look at it. So 
kind of a tragic way to start my work day honestly but anyway rambling aside i'm pretty tired and not really working on much else for the evening so i will pick up you guys back on the job site in the morning good night Good afternoon, everybody. Happy Friday. Taking a break from the yard demo for today. My back is a little sore from yesterday. Those um, cinder blocks are really heavy. And Josh worked on that a little bit this morning. And we do have um, some company contractors that are here for the next couple of weeks, too, that are helping working on some of those projects out back. So I'll keep you guys updated on that. But one of the bigger projects that I've been working on since we took over as innkeepers was to put together a guest book for in the rooms. We do a lot of technology based communication here, a lot of like text messages with links, uh, virtual guest book, that kind of stuff. But as we've been working these jobs, I'm kind of starting to realize that not everyone loves to communicate that way. And it's just so engaging to me to have some something physical to look at when you first arrive. I distinctly remember an Airbnb that we stayed at last year with some friends of ours in Tennessee that had this really cute little guest memory log that I loved reading through where everyone who stayed could write down their favorite things they did in the area, restaurants, stuff like that. So I wanted to put something together for our resort with just all of that info. So I've been working on that a lot over the past couple of weeks and I finally finished it up and got it printed and today I'm gonna be working on putting it together. So I got some like little binding things and I'm just gonna be placing the pages of the guest book inside and then they will go in every room. I'm so excited to show you guys what I put together. I decided to work on this little project in the living room that's attached to the office. I've got the office open and the door open so I can see if anybody comes in. But this way I just have a little bit more space to work with and I put a little fall ASMR room on the TV. I've got a pumpkin candle burning. It's pretty chilly outside today. Overall just feeling very cozy and I thought this would be kind of a nice balance from yesterday. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, so these are the little sleeves that I got to put them in. They're a little bit different than I was expecting. I thought each page would have its own like sleeve. So Josh actually is in Idaho Falls right now, so he's gonna grab a whole punch so I can put these together. But this is really my first time seeing them printed out, and I think they turned out so good. I just thought this would be such a clean and compact way to give guests a little bit of information about the area if they haven't been here before. A little bit of information about Josh and I as well because we are doing contactless check-in. We don't get to meet every guest, so at least this kind of personalizes their stay a little bit. And just some more information about the property, check-in and check-out, that kind of stuff. I just thought this would be like a really nice touch. I got it printed on a little bit nicer paper, which works out because it's actually not going to be like encased in anything and this is the guest memory log i put together i thought since the actual guest book had josh and i's recommendations for the area it would also be really cool to kind of collect guest favorites from the area i had so much fun putting that together i've always really loved graphic design so it was a really fun project for me to work on i also recently put out a little hashtag um, social media engagement piece in each room that we've been testing out over the past couple of weeks. We're working on building our social media presence here at the resort. So I've placed these in every room to kind of hopefully encourage guests to interact with us on Instagram and start building out our hashtag. Got ourselves a hole punch. of the day check in checking with the email box making sure that all of our guests have arrived and i've responded to any questions i finished up the guest books and i think they look so cute i can't wait to get them put into the rooms tomorrow 
and I also ended up tossing these business cards that I designed for the resort in the back just in case anyone would like to take one with them and then the guest log I'm actually going to leave in the office here um, as kind of a way to engage with guests and get some feedback face to face here in the office it's been really fun getting to like work on some more graphic design type of projects. Um, I've really enjoyed doing that and I've enjoyed the creative aspect of this job. Not only have I been able to work on murals and like actual physical paintings, artwork, that kind of thing, but I've been able to work on some more marketing style creativity as well. I'll probably bring you guys along for a Instagram shoot for the resort, filming some reels, stuff like that later in the week. As someone who lived in a van for four years, I was a little bit worried taking this position on with it being the same place all the time that it would feel a little bit stagnant for me, but I've really enjoyed the versatility of the different kinds of work that I get to do throughout the week for this job. There's just such a broad range I get to do, like physical labor tasks, customer service work, get to host campfires and plan parties. I get to do social media, marketing. It's just, I get to do all of the things. I'm wearing a lot of hats and as an ADD person, I kind of love it. So I'm gonna finish wrapping up for the evening and I'm so excited to get these guest books put in rooms tomorrow because we have quite a few check-ins. So hopefully we can get some good feedback on those. Another thing I like to do before I like fully check out for the day is to check in with my planner. I try and stay a couple of days ahead on tasks that I wanna work on just to make sure that I'm making steady progress towards my bigger goals um, and that I don't forget anything. So every night before I leave, I will check in with what I wanted to get done today, how I did today, and what I have on my plate for tomorrow. So I'm going to wrap up for the day and I'll see y'all in the morning. the fun begins the guy with the machinery just got here to move the shed you'll have to excuse the fact that i look like i just got out of bed we basically got up super early this morning to get out here and get the rest of the stuff moved out of the way so that he's got a clear pathway to move the shed so we basically just got this section of the yard all cleaned up and we're going to be dragging the shed through here and it'll be placed a uh, long ways this way. So hopefully it's not too big of a project since we're not moving it too terribly far. Okay, so we've just put some boards on each of the back corners to kind of help prevent the actual structure of the shed from breaking with the pressure from pulling. It's my first time at stop site. That's pretty cool. Okay, so now we've made it back to where we're gonna stay. So now we're just gonna swing this corner back so that it'll be right here. This is definitely one of the more exciting work days that we've had. We've been working on getting this project completed for a while and it kind of felt like one of those projects that seemed a little bit too big to tackle. So it's really cool that we finally made it to this point. All right, we've basically got it where it's going to stay. We're just scooting it back a hair and then we're gonna have to prop the front end up on some cinder blocks to 
level it out. But now we've got room for the third glamping deck and they've got a beautiful view of the meadow and the horses next door. Well, once we clean up all this junk. I am ever passing through a guest up in the sky. I am silvery dreams of old new blazing borrowed light. Guiding midnight passage. Good afternoon, guys. Happy Sunday. I am just out turning the rooms on before check in and putting some guest books out. Thought I'd bring you guys with me because I don't think I ever showed you guys the mural suite that Josh and I renovated at the resort and how it all turned out. I shared that over on the resort Instagram and it performed really well and I know I shared some painting of mine last week. This room's really neat, it actually has two rooms within one space, so we're calling it the mural suite. Josh helped me hang a floating shelf in here, we've added some artwork and I painted the mural and I think it turned out so cool and it's one of my favorite rooms. here are unique so I thought this would be a cool opportunity to show you guys what some of the different suites look like some of my favorites the owners have just done a beautiful job with the remodel that they've done thus far and I just can't wait to continue to see this place transform I absolutely love the penny vanity in this room to have gotten those guest books in the room that was like one of my major projects over the last month so now I have to get to work on my next major project which is planning and throwing the Halloween party for the resort so this afternoon I've just been sitting down I'm working on creating a promo code for a discount on bookings for October I'm going to use this to announce the Halloween party with those little ghost photos we took a couple weeks ago on the resort Instagram and share that promo code. So if you're looking to visit the Tetons in October, head over to the Teton Peaks Instagram page and there's a little 15% off discount code waiting for you there. So I'm basically going in through our reservation system, creating the promotional code, any exclusion, what dates I wanna run it for, and then I'm gonna be creating a flyer for our fall festival Halloween party. Not really sure what I wanna call it yet. I figured with this being a pretty small community that there wouldn't be a lot of trick-or-treating Halloween type of activities around. So I thought this would be a really cool way to provide that for the community and our guests as well and to just kind of create some buzz and excitement around a slower season for the resort. I have made myself up a seltzer water with some apple cider in it and I'm just gonna drink this and work the next couple of hours away on the computer. Evening times between like 4 and 7 o'clock is when guests start arriving so I try to be actually in the office for those hours to greet people as they arrive, answer any questions. I just like to make sure that I'm making everyone feel super welcome when they get here. Stuff like creating flyers, marketing, things like that for this time of day so that I'm just planted in the office, busy at work, getting stuff done but also providing that good guest experience. Hey guys, happy Monday. Monday is actually my Friday, so Mondays are a lot happier than they used to be. I just brought some props up for an Instagram shoot in another one of my favorite rooms here at the resort. This one has vaulted ceilings, so much natural light, and it actually has a beautiful view of the sunset right out this window. That window actually wasn't there about a month ago, um, so that was another thing that Josh and I have been working on over the last month. And I think adding that sunset view really just elevated this room so much, and it's so much brighter in here. Anyone who's familiar with photography or videography knows that lighting is really important, so I really like to shoot content in this room because I have access 
to the most natural light, especially at this time of day. So I've grabbed my camera, some props. I know it probably looked like I was like moving upstairs or something. <laughs> so I'm hoping to shoot at least a couple of reels this afternoon. I content batch for the resort, which is something I'm still kind of adjusting to. I've never been a content batcher kind of person for my own social media platforms. I just really like writing captions for my own posts when they're still relevant in my life, if that makes any sense. I don't want to be writing a caption for something I did last week because it's just harder for me to think of something genuine to write. I am actually moving into more of a marketing role with the parent company of this resort as well. So I will be starting to kind of take over creating content for some of the other properties. So I'm really excited to be dipping my toe in the more professional marketing world. My mom's always been in marketing and she always talks about how she thinks it would be something that I really love and enjoy. So really grateful for the opportunity and the experience that I'm gonna be taking away from all this. There's so much to learn and I've always worked on my personal brand. So it's really cool to learn more about creating content for companies. I know this has been a bit of a longer video, but I really did want to show you how many really cool different types of things that we get to work on in this industry. I honestly don't know why we never tried work camping this kind of job style in the past, and we're just really grateful that we were able to move up in the company and set down some roots here. This has been a really cool opportunity and just like a really interesting career change. That was something when I dropped out of college that I kind of wished I had learned more about before I had even started college is like the different types of careers that are even out there. I feel like in public schools, they tell you about the basics, school teacher, marketing, sales, you know, jobs. But I feel like there's so many cool and unique careers and job opportunities out there. And I just wish that I had known about more of them at a younger age. So I thought this would be a cool video to kind of give some insight into a position that might be good for someone who's more novatically based. These types of work camping jobs before you step into like the management side of things are very transient um, and we got to work on a lot of this kind of stuff before we took over. It's just been a little bit more intensive at this point. So I thought this would be kind of a cool way to share with anyone that's thinking about nomad life or wanting to live a van life or anything like that and can't figure out the remote work piece that there are so many other options and there is a ton of seasonal positions available in some really awesome places. So if you liked this video, please give it a huge thumbs up. And if you know anyone interested in this type of career or looking for some more nomad options for work, go ahead and share this video too. It helps my channel out so much and I greatly appreciate it. And if you haven't yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button, but don't forget to hit the notification bell because otherwise you aren't going to see my posts. In the interest of not making this a half hour video, I'm gonna stop rambling, get shooting, and I'll see you guys next week. I actually found these beautiful chairs on Facebook Marketplace for like 40 bucks and I feel like they're the perfect addition to this room.